Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. From viral sensations to superstars, my next guests are two sisters with voices from heaven. But they're not just singers, they're triple threats. They're singers, actors, and musicians. They are true artists. And I had a chance to sit down with R&B sensations Chloe and Hallie. Take a look. Our next guests are two sisters, but they are triple threats. They're actors, singers, and musicians. Please welcome Chloe and Hallie. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so next, the last time you guys were at Sister Circle, mm -hmm. you were doing the On the Run too. Yes. yes and yes. it was it's just wrapped up in what, October? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So tell us about that experience. Yes, being on tour with Beyonce and Jay-Z was so much fun, you know. We were constantly pinching ourselves. We learned so much as new artists mm -hmm. and getting to watch them give 150% every night really inspired us and you know, uh, just got us to dig deeper every single night. So yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, my sisters and I personally watched you guys on YouTube Aww. all the time. Amazing, by the way. Amazing, you. by the way. And Beyonce, she's come. She's become your mentor. Mm -hmm. And so, what's the best advice she's ever given you? The best advice that she's ever given us was when she said that our music and our taste and talents ahead of this time and that you never feel like you have to dumb yourself down for the oh, world definitely. let the world catch up to you and that's definitely something we're living by we're just being authentically ourselves and having fun doing it mm -hmm. and for the people that are accepting and loving of our uh, music and what we bring to the world it means so much that mm -hmm. we're just doing this having fun being ourselves mm -hmm. so. and living your best life yes. yes. <laughs> so speaking of living your best lives you two are regulars now on grownish yes yeah. uh, congratulations thank you, thank you. Thank you are you guys so super much. excited yes yeah, so excited so how'd you guys land the role mm -hmm. yeah well we've always been friends with beautiful yara and mm -hmm. You know, the executive producer of the show, Kenya Barris, saw us all together on stage at the mm -hmm. BET Awards. Okay. And it was like, oh, they should be on the show. And we were like, okay, sure, we'll try it. Okay. And, <laughs> you know, we ever since then, we were just so happy that we got to be on the show. Mm -hmm. You know, it's all of our friends, mm -hmm. and you never feel like we're working. It just feels yeah. like a big party on set. So it's wow. fun to dibble in acting as well as mm -hmm. have our music at the forefront. So you guys sing and you act both superbly. Thank you. So which one came first yeah. and which one do you like the best? So yeah. honestly, acting came first. Okay. Mm -hmm. And when we were younger, we just started acting around Atlanta and then music kind of came naturally second because we love music. Mm -hmm. But for me, music is my first love. Uh, it's something about creating and also performing, the adrenaline you get. Mm -hmm. It's so fulfilling. I feel like that's definitely our passion. And, you know, acting is just another way we express ourselves. Mm -hmm. So we still really love that, but music's our first love. Oh. So. Yeah. And the yeah. same for you? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you guys play twins on uh -huh. Grownish. Yep. I have to be honest. I thought you guys were twins, <laughs> too. Okay. I thought Everybody you guys were fraternal twins. I was going to watch you guys play yeah. the, the piano and the guitar, yeah. which is amazing, by the way. Thank you. Uh, so... Uh, do people think you're twins in real life? Almost um, everybody thinks we're twins in real life. Yeah. It's really funny because whenever we post like happy birthday Hallie or happy birthday Chloe on our people socials, like, they're like, no way, you guys don't share the same days. birthday. Yeah. Like, what? I'm so upset you guys aren't twins. I know. So <laughs> it doesn't help that we play twins on Grownish, but mm -hmm. you know, I take it as a compliment. If I'm as pretty as Hallie, then that's a good thing. <laughs> and we're so in sync, so I can get that. So. It's okay. Wow. So let's talk about Grownish just a little bit more. Yes. So you guys, you wrote the opening score. Yes. yes. And you sang the opening score. Yes. For Grownish. Hello and yes and thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so how did that come about for you guys? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well. Music is something that we just love to put our everything into. Mm -hmm. And with this show, we were so inspired um, just by what we're going through in life as young girls transitioning into young women. We mm -hmm. had all these emotions of, are we really grown? Are we, are we there yet? How can we put this in a song? And uh, Kenya actually wanted our album song, The Kids Are All Right, for the theme song. Okay. Um, but we were like, oh, we'll write you another one. So we wrote another one just talking about basically the theme of the show and what we're personally going through at the time right now because I just turned 18 and she just turned 20 and we're like at that weird point where we're almost women but we're not quite. Right, right. So <laughs> it's, it was just all those emotions that we put into that. So, yeah. 
So are we gonna see you guys performing more this season? In Grown-ish? Ooh, <laughs> you never know. <laughs> but we're always creating, we're always performing, so it would be fun if it's sprinkled throughout the season. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> see, I know what it's like to have to work with my sisters. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and then when you invite other cast members in, mm -hmm. and then they become friends as well. Yeah. So are, is there ever a problem like, okay, well this person's just too close to my sister, and they're <laughs> spending too much time with my sister? Yeah. Are you guys like friends together with the other people in the cast? Oh, Ooh, it's you know, really natural and yeah. organic. We're all just kind of mold like a big family together. Mm -hmm. I think it helped because we already knew Yara and Trevor beforehand. Okay. And it's such good positive energy, not only from the cast, but the crew as well. And you know, Hallie and I were like this. Yes. So even when we're with friends, we're still like together. And when we're apart, we're like, where's my yeah, other half? It's, it's kind it's of funny. funny. Never lose that. Yeah. <laughs> and, Never lose that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And before we were sharing our trailers, and you know, we were both trying to sleep on one couch, we're like, you know, you don't have to do that. Yeah, you don't have to do that. And they're like, <laughs> you're, you're so far away. Yeah. Even just in our own trailers. Separation anxiety with yes, sisters. Exactly. Oh, see, I, oh, I remember those days. Yeah. <laughs> don't let the industry change that, yeah. by the way. Yeah. But a little birdie told me that Diggy Simmons <clears throat> is playing a love interest to one of you. Oh. Can, you, can you guys give that away a little bit? Just a little baby bit? Yeah, it, it happened in season one towards the end. Uh, Jaslyn and Doug, you know, come together and it's really fun too because <laughs> Zoe's character picked Luca so it's gonna dive into like relationships and how all that works in college so that's gonna be fun to go and dive into so any mm -hmm. on-screen romance <laughs> and does I've... it segue off the screen a little bit? <laughs> you know music is my first love right now <laughs> I don't have time for boys so music music and acting and yes. I'm good to go oh, so. yeah. great answer mm -hmm. I love it I love it I love it thank you <laughs> absolutely okay. well you know I appreciate you girls coming it's always thank fun you. having you, you guys so you guys are beautiful much. inside thank and you out. so much and your we music is amazing oh, so is the Braxton's are your fans I love you love your fans and we're excited to see more of you this season on Yay. Grownish. And on the upcoming season, January 2nd, they're on free form for Grownish. Check them out. <laughs> are they not just the cutest girls you've they ever are, seen? They are. They are. And they're, they're, they're such role models, you know. They are. If, if I could give my nieces role models, they would be it. They're amazing. Sometimes you can look at kids and you just have to say their parents have got to be proud. Oh, definitely. Yes. You know what I mean? They were raised could, right. Because they, they write a book. Raised right. a book. Uh -huh. yes. You oh, don't have to say who your God. pastor. <laughs> That's what you say so, when the kids come So, up. so, so talented. And I'm so excited to see these ladies on the upcoming season of Grownish on Freeform. Because